Hi everybody, welcome to the video surprise of the day. Today's video surprise is how to change the faucet aerator. Before you get started, please remember to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon when you notify new videos. And if you really like the video, please help me out with thumbs up. That helps the channel a lot. Okay, so this is the aerator. That's the little end piece on the faucet. And it's pretty easy to change. You might need a pair of pliers and stuff to loosen it up. So you want to turn that clockwise, just like right here, and it should come off. So the one I have here is extra, extra dirty. That's what I wanted to show you. And it seems to have a lot of sand or something from the, you know, from the pipes, I guess. So you probably want to clean that out. And you know, some people actually put a piece of paper there before they change it, I guess. I didn't want to do that because you know, they have a lot of wet towels and stuff around. So make sure you measure the size. And I already did that ahead of time. And notice this one has a washer. So you also want to get the washer out. But you know, you just want to compare it to visually inspect it and see if it's the same. And uh, I have a Moen 1010. So then again, over here, like I mentioned, you want to pull the pull the washer out just like that, you know. And you also want to clean the bottom again with a piece of paper. I probably will clean it again because it's extra dirty. Uh, you know, I don't think they ever changed it, to be honest. I mean, it's really dirty. And here's the specs. Interested in looking for aerator. They're different uh, gallons per minute ones out there. There's some actually stronger. And then again, it's just the, the faucet. I don't think you need something too strong. So notice the thread and everything matches up. So before I open the package, I'll put a link in the description interested in getting one of these as well too if you need to replace it. So this is how it looks like when the aerator is out and uh, when I get a, a towel to clean this thing over here first. Notice it's pretty dirty overall. There you go. So make sure it's clean inside on the thread area, especially. There's only one washer once you remove it, but you still have to clean it. I'm just gonna clean the sink over here as we go because I don't want all those debris to go down the sink. It's just not really the, the best way to uh, uh, to do it, right? So check everything is there, nice and clean. And you wanna take out the other one, then we're gonna screw it in. When you put it in, you're gonna turn counterclockwise so you know backwards in a way like that see you can see how i did that so that's how you do it you just make it hand tight you don't need to make it super tight you definitely don't want to use a wrench you actually can use a towel like this over here that makes it easier just hand tight is good enough so you notice it's all in place now and you can turn on the water and such right i'm just gonna double check make sure it's super hand tight there it goes it looks good so you might have to uh, make this quick sound when you turn it on. Hopefully this video helps you out. I really appreciate a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye.